everyone, this is Wani, Deputy Editor at SethView.com. We're here with another Eating Out vlog and today we're going to Arabica. Not just any Arabica, the one at Chippy Gardens at Jalan Mirasaga. It's right here. So we've finally gotten a table here inside Arabica Chippy Gardens and I'm so excited to try the food. Uh, first, let me tell you a little bit about it. So this outlet is very special because it's the only one, not just in Singapore but in the world, that has a food menu. It's curated by a female Michelin chef called Lan Shu Chen, who was handpicked by the Japanese founder of Arabica himself. And she made a menu that is supposed to complement all the coffees that Arabica already has. So it's light, it's um, supposed to be refreshing and not too heavy on your senses. So let's try the sweet pea salad first. As you can see, it's like really beautiful. It's almost like a garden in a little cup. Oh, it looks simple. It looks like maybe a little bit bland, but it is not. It is not tasteless at all. Of course, there's the creaminess from the feta. It's really bright. It's really zesty. Um, I could really foresee myself eating this. If I'm not terribly hungry, I want a small snack in the middle of the day to go with my coffee. This, this would be a good choice. So next, we'll try one of the pastas. The spaghetti aglio e olio. The first thing I taste in this agro e olio is the cheese, the 25 aged parmigiano regiono cheese. It's not so much on the heavy side of uh, chili flakes or garlic, but I think that's what sets it apart from other uh, similar dishes. So the second pasta we have is the pesto, the shisho pesto. I always love a pesto that has a little bit more texture, so I appreciate the presence of pine nuts. As you can see, the portions are actually quite yeah, quite generous. That is a very, very strong and pronounced shisho pesto flavor. One word I can think of when I eat this is green. It is like very natural, it's quite earthy, almost herbaceous. Um, it might not be everyone's favorite. Um, it does take a little bit of a required taste. I, I can get around to this taste. I can definitely get around to it. So the third dish we have is the croque madame. So the one here is made with a very soft egg as you can tell. It's still really runny. So I'm gonna cut through this for that very, you know, Instagrammable shot of the egg. I mean, how much more delicious can they get? <laughs> mm. It could be elevated just a tiny bit with a bit more salt and pepper. They would have like, done it for me. So, I know there are a lot of iterations of this elsewhere, but you know, we are here at Arabica. It's special. It's got Hokkaido milk toast. I believe there's like a like a jam, like an onion jam or something inside. So it's a little sweet. The Hokkaido milk toast is very soft. Like it is very soft, uh, which is a little different from other sandals because I know they they are a little bit typically more crisp. So this is a more, bit more pillowy, so there is not much like textural contrast. But overall, it's still, it's still good, but I just wish there were a little bit more tweaks to this. And I think that it would be a, been a perfect uh, katsu sake. Yep, we are at Arabica. You can't not have a coffee drink. Uh, but I have two very special coffee drinks. Okay, one is not coffee to be fair. Uh, one is a matcha latte and one is a Spanish latte. So what makes a Spanish latte different from a like regular coffee latte? is that they have condensed milk. So, you know, it's a bit more familiar to what we Singaporeans like in our coffee. Oh! Don't let the, the, the label of having condensed milk inside scare you. It isn't sweet at all. 
It's very balanced. I can still taste the coffee. There's still a bitterness and a very welcome sweetness. It's actually quite good. Maybe I'll just have condensed milk only here la, in Arabica. I won't have it anywhere else. So moving on to the matcha latte. Just the right amount of um, bitterness, I say. Uh, a little tannic, but not to the point where you know you're like feeling everything's drying out. Because I've had some matcha lattes like that and it's not really pleasant. So now that we've tasted the food here at Arabica Chippy Gardens, uh, just want to give you a little bit of insight as to how this outlet is different as well. So it is the biggest one in Singapore at 1,200 square feet. And the tables are also larger, so the seating is a little bit more comfortable. It's for large uh, benches and tables for you to work from. But do take note that sometimes it can get a little busy, especially during like uh, meal time, so like lunch to maybe like 3 to 4 p.m. So I've just finished my meal. I'm pretty full actually, even though you know the servings might not look like a lot. You know, it's actually pretty filling. So if you want something different to go with your Arabica coffee, I would really suggest um, the one here at Chibi Gardens. The food is very um, highly curated. It's simply furnished with very straightforward seasonings, nothing complex, and of course the coffee is always good. So if you're looking for a new cafe, not a new cafe, but a new place to discover interesting food, and of course have your dose of caffeine for the day, Chippy Gardens, Arabica is the place to be. Till the next vlog of eating out, I'm Wani and bye!